The first initiation ritual of the Elemental Lodges of Atlantean Democracy is hosted in the Lodge representing the element of Earth. As we approach the Lodge of Earth, we see its bricks are yellow and its mortar is pink, and that on its roof is the symbol of its element as one of the platonic solids. Earth is equal to a cube. The cube of Earth is pink, or more accurately, indigo, because this is the position it holds on the rainbow spectrum of seven colors that constitutes the foundation of much of Atlantean social structure. As we enter the Lodge of Earth to begin this ceremony, let us pause on the name of the ritual for this degree, and its meaning to us as students of Atlantean society. The student of Atlantis is not yet awakened to their full psychic potential. They suspect there may be more to the meanings they apprehend, but they are not as sure of their faith in this as they are in the limited spectrum they know for certain through their five physical senses. They see the ideal of curiosity, but are fallen from their innocent belief in the unlimited ultimate goodness of reality. Therefore, whenever a student of ESP decides to cease being such, and to begin to enter into the folds of purely mental contemplation, they enter the Earth Lodge of Atlantis first, and the ritual they seek there is that which transforms them to a full Atlantean citizen with the right to vote in its psychic elections. To exercise our rights as Atlantean citizens, we begin to impose our own wills on society in a ratio to our belief in our own control of such. Thus, once one completes the first degree initiation ritual, they belong to the Contributors Club of the Order of Death. The name of the ritual performed in the Earth Lodge for initiation into the Contributors Club is called the Three Kings Rite or the dream of the three kings, drama. By studying this rite, we can imagine ourselves undergoing it, and this method is, itself, all that is required by it to be initiated into it. Let us enter the vault, where I will briefly describe the events of the drama. More may be found regarding this ritual in the written version of the One Degree Contributors Club literature. The premise of the drama is that it is a dream shared by the three kings, Cheops, Chephren, and Menkara, the three generations of pharaohs who commissioned the building of the great pyramids of Giza, Egypt. The dream begins with Cheops passing over into the realms of the dead, where he awakens studying the tree of life of Kabbalah. Suddenly he is awakened from his reverent studies by the first guide. The guide explains that Cheops is outside the New Jerusalem, the capital city of heaven. The god who lives in this city is summoning Cheops to attend to a meeting in the temple at the heart of the city. The bell is tolling, and he must hurry. When the initiate reaches the gate of the city walls, the first guide is exchanged for a second guide, and this is explained to the candidate to represent the passage of the person of the dreamer from Cheops to his son, Chephren. The second guide leads the candidate through the winding alleys of the city of God, while the sound of the bell tolling draws closer, until finally they reach the outer courtyard of the temple in the middle of the city. There, the second guide is exchanged for a third, who hails the candidate as Menkare, son of Chephren, and explains to them that they arrived just in time, and shuts the gates after them. The candidate stands inside a representation of a courtyard inside the walls of the temple. Surrounded by hooded and masked actors wearing either blue or red, who are all milling in a large crowd around the center of the temple courtyard, where there is a green tetrahedronal building. Just then, a darkness comes over the courtyard, and a figure wearing white appears under ultraviolet lighting from the green tetrahedronal temple. He addresses himself as the Metatron, and explains the reason for the spirits being called to the meeting. The Metatron explains a certain number of the assembled crowd are being summoned to reincarnate to planet Earth in order to fill the bodies of workers to build the Great Pyramids. He says, those who wish to pursue this task will be rewarded 
according to their rank while in life, by additional privileges as souls after death in the form of roles in a more heavenly form of government, called democracy. He says, finally, those who wish to proceed in this task must first choose whether they want to participate in democracy or if they wish to continue as angels, only worshiping God, but without free will to control outcomes. The blue-robed actors then side with the roles of angels, while the red-garbed actors separate into the group wishing to side with democracy. Before the candidate chooses a side, the lights come on, the guide reappears behind them, and the ritual act representing the dream of the three Egyptian kings is over. The guide explains the candidate is now eligible to vote, as well as to continue with their initiation with the second ritual, the first of three that will allow them to enter office in either a psychic state or church. This concludes the first ritual.